Hello everyone. I saw that many people are searching for an easy way to connect Facebook ads to Tableau. A simple search on Tableau community shows that there are over 400 threads with questions from various users on this topic. Unfortunately, most of the questions are still unanswered or the answers are obsolete. The thing is, Tableau doesn't have a dedicated connector for that. I am Victor from Windsor.ai and today I will walk you through a step-by-step -step guide on how you can connect Facebook ads to Tableau in a matter of minutes. The first thing you'll have to do is open a browser and go to Windsor.ai. If you're using Windsor for the first time, click on Start Free Trial on the upper right or on Get Started. If you already have an account, you can log in. I'll click on Get Started. And on the left side panel, you can see all the platform that Windsor can connect to. Uh, there are quite a lot of them. You'll see various data sources here. Uh, for this video, we'll focus on Facebook ads. You'll have to grant access to Facebook ads for uh, Windsor. Uh, and this is basically a login page. And then you'll have to set up some details. I'll use my personal account just for that. And if you're using it for the first time, you'll uh, be asked what pages do you want to use with Windsor. Um, if you have multiple pages, uh, I would suggest taking all that you think you might want to analyze in the future, because afterwards you can easily filter uh, the accounts or the pages either from Windsor.ai or from Tableau directly. That way you don't have to set up different a different data source for each page. So I, I've chosen two of my pages here and I'll click on next. I have to leave all the marks checked and click on done. I have a confirmation that my that Windsor is now connected to my Facebook account so I can uh, safely close this window. Uh, and the next step is to select one of the Facebook accounts that I have used here. You need to enter here the details for creating a Windsor account if you don't have one already. Uh, and this will only appear when you're using it for, for the first time. For the scope of this tutorial, I'll connect to a different Facebook account that has some dummy data. Uh, and the next thing you'll see after connecting to your account is this attribution window option. This is a long story about what attribution window means, uh, but that's probably for another video. Uh, Facebook's suggestion is to use a seven days click attribution window. So I'll just choose that, go to next data preview. And now I can see uh, my Facebook data added into the portal. Um, <clears throat> what this page is, is basically a preview of the data. So you can see what kind of data you're importing. You don't have to wait to set up everything and then see in Tableau that you're not actually bringing the data that you want to uh, to bring. Uh, the, and the fields that you're, you're bringing in. On the right side, uh, you can see all the available fields and there's actually a documentation on all, on all of them. Uh, these are basically all the fields that are provided by the Facebook API. By default, uh, Windsor adds clicks and amount and spend, but you can add various filter, various fields. One that I would, one might want to take a look into is impressions. Another one is let's say date, because it's always relevant to have the date uh, within your data source. You want to know when your campaign ran, how much you've spent each day, how many impressions, how many clicks you got. Maybe you can identify some trends there, and then you can use those trends in order to better uh, configure your, your ad spending. You might also take a look into the de derived fields like uh, CTR, click-through rate. The thing is, uh, CTR is a derived metric. And if you bring it now in this step, then it will be aggregated at the level that you're currently in, in this window. So if, so if I have the date and, uh, and the campaign name, it will be aggregated on that. That means that when I bring it into Tableau and I want to select a different level of aggregation, that CTR will be averaged again. 
And I'll show you an example on why I wouldn't suggest doing that. So let's say I have just one campaign and I run it for two days. In the first day, I get 10 impressions. In the second day, I get one impression and one click in each of these days. The CTR, the click through, through rate is 0 0.1 in the first day or 10%. And in the second day is one or 100%. If I do an average on this, uh, the average would be 0 0.55, but that's not correct because my performance, my CTR overall wasn't 0 0.55. It was actually 0 0.18 because I need to weight the number of impressions I had each day. So if I create this formula in Tableau and it's a really easy formula, sum of clicks over sum of impressions, uh, I will get the right result and it will be the right result disregarding the aggregation level that I'm using. And I would suggest doing that for all the derived metrics. You might also want to look at CPM, at various conversion metrics that are, that, that are derived. So number of conversion, conversions per click and so on. Now, the next step uh, I have to take is choose a data destination. I've promised at the beginning of the video that I'll show you how you connect uh, Facebook ads to Tableau. So I'll choose Tableau from here, but you'll see that there are various options here. So once you, you're using Winter, it doesn't matter if you're changing your reporting tool, you'll still have those uh, settings uh, within Windsor platform and you can choose another reporting tool if you wish, or use multiple reporting tools if you have different data analysts look, using different tools. So I'll choose Tableau. And here I'll see uh, the details on how I should set up a connection in Tableau Desktop. So now I can go to Tableau Desktop, choose Web Data Connector as a data source, enter tableau.windsor.ai, I can copy paste this value. So this is my connector. And these are the details of my connector. So I can copy this and enter it as a URL here. The method is get because I'm not posting anything and I just click on next. Now I can see all the fields that I've previously selected. Uh, I can just choose some of them or I can choose all of them as you wish. Then uh, I just click on submit and it will bring me to the connections page where I can further uh, work with uh, with the format of the data if I want. For example, I, I might want to change the date into a date field and then go to my dashboard, to my sheet to create, uh, to create a visual visualization. So let's see what I brought here. So campaign, uh, impressions, flex, so I have this, uh, this data here. You can try Windsor.ai using a 14 days trial or book a demo with one of our support specialists. Don't be afraid to ask any kind of question. And you can also check Windsor free Tableau templates, which are ready to use for any kind of marketing data. And using those templates will mean that you'll just have to connect your own data and they'll be ready to go.